All right, today's I can is I can divide four digit dividends by one digit divisors, and we're going to be using the area model strategy. Happy New Year, it is 2021. It's my first video in a long time, so happy to be back. Okay, let's get right to it. So I can divide four digit dividends by one digit divisors. Um, we're gonna start off by just by three digits, something simple. So we'll look at example A. Okay, let's say you have 150 divided by six. Okay, the point of the area model is to incorporate multiplication because a lot of times multiplication is easier to understand than division. So you write out your problem, 150 divided by six equals something, right? Your answer to a division problem is going to be your quotient. So you can rewrite this as something times six equals 150. So you can take that quotient and multiply it by your divisor, almost like writing it backwards to equal your dividend. So I'm gonna use this second equation right here as my starting point for my strategy using the area model. So you start off by drawing any kind of area you want. A box is always nice. We love boxes in math, right? So you're gonna go ahead and write down your 150 in the box because that is your product. That's your area, okay? That's why you have um, that second equation there. That's your product. Then you write your six. You can write it right here. And then your missing factor comes up top. So something times six is 150, okay? This may not be the only box you draw. You're gonna continually draw boxes out to the right. And I'll show you that in a second. So the first thing I like to do is think six times what equals 150. Now that can be kind of like vague and ambiguous. So just take a look at some smaller chunks of the number. So let's look at the first two digits here. Six times what is close to 15. So if you should know your facts, right? So I know it's the multiples of six, six, 12, 18. 18 is greater than 15, so you're gonna have to go below that, which is 12. Six times two is 12. But I'm not looking at 12, right? Look at the larger value. I'm looking at 150. So I'm gonna add on that zero. 2 times 6 is 12, but I'm not going to multiply by 12. I'm multiplying by 20. 20 times 6 is 120. So I'm taking out 20 groups of 6. So this first number right here is a factor, but it's also considered my partial quotient. So I'm going to subtract 120. I get 30, right? So with this number, I'm going to draw another box right next to it and write this number up here and do the same thing. So how many groups of six can go into 36 times what equals 30? Now this is a beautiful, nice number that we can end up here. So six times five, I know six times five is 30. Subtract, I have nothing remaining. So if you have nothing remaining, you have no remainder, and these two numbers up here are parts of your answer. That's why they're called partial quotients. So this is a quotient, this is a quotient, but it's not your final quotients. They're parts of your quotients. You add them together to get your final quotient of 25. So 150 divided by six is 25, but we solved that by looking at, looking at it as multiplication. So 25 times six is 150. So let's do another one. Let's do another um, three-digit one. The last one will be a four-digit one. So 232 divided by three equals something. So dividend, divisor, and your something would be considered your quotient. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this as a multiplication problem. Something times three equals 132. Okay, draw your area just like your box. 132 goes in the middle, three can go off to the side, and the number up top would be your factor to equal 132. It can also be considered your first partial quotient. Okay, let's again start with smaller chunks of the number. So let's look at 13. Three times what is close to 13? Three times what is close to 13? When we are multiples of three, three, six, nine, 12, 15, whoops, one over 13, gotta go one under. So three times four is 12, okay, using your basic facts, but we're not looking at 13, we're looking at 132, so we're looking at 40, we're looking, 100, looking at 120. So three times 40 is 122, you subtract that, 12, 
and then moving this number over here to the next box. You can go forever and ever with boxes and boxes, um, but you want to try to find a value um, as large as possible to take that as big chunks as you can so that you don't have like a bajillion boxes. Okay, three times what equals 12? I know that's a basic fact of four. Four times three is 12. Subtract and down, I have no remainders. These two are my answers. They're each part of the answer, so they're called partial quotients. I'm gonna add them together to get 44. 132 divided by three is 44. 44 times three is 132. All right, last one. I'm just gonna make this one up in my head real quick. So let's do 2,431 divided by five. So I know for sure I will have a remainder here, okay? Actually, let's two, four, three, one divided by five. I'm just gonna go ahead and write this on a new page so we have lots of room. 2,431 divided by five. Using the area model, we use multiplications. We rewrite this as a multiplication problem. Something times five equals 2,431. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my area. Okay, five times something equals 2,431. Okay, again, it's a large value, but let's just kind of break it apart. So five can go into 24. What are multiples of five that are close to 24? You know, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, a little bit too high, so I'm gonna go one below is 20. Five times four is 20. I'm gonna add in the two zeros, because we're not looking at 24, we're looking at 2,400, so 400 times five is 2,000. Subtract. Okay. Um, I'm gonna bring in a different box here with my remainder, so 431, making this number smaller and smaller, um, each one more manageable. So five and 431, and five times something equals 431. Looking at 43, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, that's eight, right? Eight times five is 40, but we're not looking at 43, we're looking at 431, so that's 80 times 400, subtract. And then looking at 5 and 31, I can see very clearly 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 5 times 6 is 30. Subtract, and 1 is your remainder. So 480 and 6 are all partial quotients. They're parts of my answer. 486 is my final quotient. 2,431 divided by 5 is 486.